The press is so important that we are mentioned in the Bill of Rights. You cannot be an informed and engaged citizen if you don't know what's going on. And it's really hard to know what's going on if you don't have journalism professionals who are helping you along the way. So newspaper and education has been around since the 1930s and the Tampa Bay Times newspaper and education program has been around since the mid 70s. We provide newspapers to schools so that they can use the newspaper as a living textbook for just about any subject, journalism, English, math, science. What they do is align to the Florida standards in different subjects. The project that we just finished or that we are currently working on with Florida Humanities is on the topic of genocide in the 20th and 21st centuries and it fits into the Florida curriculum under Holocaust studies which is required by Florida statute. The publication went to schools and then we asked students to think about the themes that they read about and we asked them to make artwork that really expressed those themes um, that we were trying to get across in the publication. My background before coming to newspaper and education was in teaching. Um, I was a high school teacher in Hillsborough County for 10 years. For this particular publication, I interviewed the survivors of genocides and the Holocaust, and then I added activities for students to do so that they could learn from the material and also use it to um, hopefully stop these things from happening in the future. Well, the subject intrigued me because uh, my students do a lot of social justice artwork. So when I saw the topic of genocide um, in these two time periods, it definitely piqued my interest. I have students from um, the Middle East, students from Asia, students from um, Latin American countries. So many of them have family members um, who are going through these things right now. It relates to a lot of them. It's on their minds more than it should be. The winner of this, um, my student Hala, she is an amazing young artist. It's been really good to see that because at first she wasn't sure how people would receive her work and especially her work that's on very heavy topics. She was afraid that it might be too much um, for people, but it has been very well received. My sister and my brother like to tell me a lot about what's going on in Syria because I left when I was very young, so I don't know too much, but they want me to keep knowing the current events that are going on over there and not forgetting what's happening. I submitted a piece um, titled Next Generation and it's about the desensitization of the kids in Syria and how the war has been going on for so long now that these kids have grown up with it and they're not aware that this isn't normal and they haven't really known peace in their lives. We were really impressed at the diversity in submissions that we received. And these are This is a tough topic. It was conceived as a one-off, but um, the response showed us that there, there really does seem to be an appetite in Tampa Bay for talking about these difficult subjects. 